Hey everyone, welcome back to Installation 00, and more specifically, welcome back to the Armory. This is where all weapons from Halo Law will be featured and analysed in detail. In this episode, we look at the Concussion Rifle. Let's begin. The Type 50 Directed Energy Rifle Heavy, or D50DER-H, commonly known as the Concussion Rifle, is a Covenant infantry weapon used predominantly by the Sangheili, although it has been observed being used by the Jilhane as well. The general design of the concussion rifle was engineered by a group of Sangheili merchants from Kios long before the signing of the Writ of Union, when the Sangheili and the Sanshayum first created the Covenant. Though the physical configuration of the weapon has changed over the millennia, its function has remained largely unchanged since its inception. The weapon has only seen limited use, its most notable combat use being in the Fall of Reach. Because of its relative rarity, the UNSC has theorised that its use is restricted either by branch or unit. Indeed, the weapon is only used by top-tier Sangheili ranks, including zealots, generals, and special operations warriors, as well as certain Jurulhane shock troops. The weapon's primary role is suppressive fire, keeping enemies pinned by its large area of effect so that allied forces can advance on the position and execute the enemy at close range or pick them off one by one with ranged attacks. That is not to say that the weapon cannot be used in direct fire, but the projectiles are relatively slow moving and thus easy to dodge at range. In close combat, however, as long as the user remains aware of the area of effect and splash damage, it can be used to devastating effect. The concussion rifle measures 103 centimeters or 41 inches in length, 18 centimeters or 7.1 inches in width, 67.6 centimeters or 14.8 inches in height. The concussion rifle fires explosive bolts of superheated plasma with a single magazine containing six shots. When the plasma bolt hits a surface or target, it produces area of effect damage as well as large concussive impacts that are sufficient to move targets and objects a small distance, unless hit with repeated shots, in which case the compounding concussive force is sufficient to stop tip, flip, and destroy even a warthog moving at speed towards the user. The weapon shares many of its features with the heavier plasma mortar, including the slight downward arc of its shots, and likely operates on similar principles. It is assumed that the plasma is contained within an electromagnetic bubble that keeps the plasma coherent, while also physically constraining it within a smaller volume. It then stands to reason that the concussive force arises from this field collapsing and the plasma expanding outward at the speed of sound or faster, causing the air around it to also expand, transferring the overpressure shockwave to the target, while also dealing a great deal of heat damage from the superheated plasma itself. The weapon can be considered a Covenant counterpart to the UNSC Army's M319 individual grenade launcher. In general, the concussion rifle's effects resemble those of the Type 25 brute shot despite different appearances and modes of operation. Unlike these weapons, however, the concussion rifle's bolts do not bounce or ricochet and are significantly more advanced in their design than the arguably quite primitive technologies of the brute shot at least in comparison. The concussion rifle fires 30mm concussive explosive plasma rounds out of a six-shot magazine cell, making the feed system very similar to that of the Type 33 fuel rod gun instead of the battery system used by most Covenant weapons. Upon emptying the magazine, the user can open the rifle's loading breech, where the spent magazine is automatically ejected to the side, and a new magazine can be loaded with relative ease. At peak capacity, and assuming the user could physically reload quick enough, the concussion rifle is capable of 155 rounds per minute, being able to fire 6 shots in 2.3 seconds. Although it can be used at range, 
the slow travel time and need to adjust for the downward arc makes its trajectory quite predictable so it's optimally used in short range and in particular close quarters where the constricted environment leaves few places for an enemy to hide. The concussion rifle is a powerful weapon and is very good at disorientating enemies as the blast sends the target into the air and there is a flash that momentarily blinds them. Due to the concussion rifle's ability to send enemies flying into the air, a skilled operator can use this to send a particularly strong target such as a hunter into the air and either kill them through fall damage or buy themselves enough time to increase their range and re-engage with a more suitable weapon. This effect also makes it an effective anti-vehicle weapon as multiple shots fired from a concussion rifle can make all but the heaviest of vehicles flip. The concussion rifle has a small magazine size and there is scarcity of ammunition on the battlefield. Its blast radius is not as powerful as the brute shot or a rocket launcher and more shots are needed to kill powerful enemies. As previously mentioned, its slow projectile speed and downward arc makes it extraordinarily easy to dodge at range and at extremely close range the splash effect can even affect the user, delivering the concussive blast to the target and user indiscriminately. The concussion rifle is an interesting and powerful weapon employed by the Covenant. If used by a skilled operator, the concussion rifle is something to be feared, able to deliver powerful concussive blasts at close range with sufficient force to knock you off your feet and deliver kinetic and heat damage to the point of pulverizing the soft organs of the body and fracturing the skeleton, causing intense internal bleeding while the heat can burn and cauterize flesh. If used by an unskilled operator, it is as dangerous to be an ally as it is to be an enemy, and the user is as likely of killing themselves as they are anybody else. Thanks for watching. Stick your comments down below. I really look forward to what you have to say on this. I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons and YouTube members, Neek the Silent Cartographer, Kyle Stevens and Siphonic Storm, my tier zero transcendience, Brian, Red Sea, Darian, Stork of the Realms, Falcon X003, Alvin, Mr. Fell, Flaming Halo, The Revanche, Starlight, Legions Lost, Josh, The TG7, TJ Jazz, Cat Herder, Cam, Schneidish, Leon, Fellow Individual, and Ignizzle, The Holders of the Mantle, My Glorious Reclaimers, My Most Loyal of Metarchs, and all the other patrons and members that have jumped aboard to support the channel. Much love to you guys, thanks so much for your support, it's keeping things happening and helping the development of the channel and future awesomeness in a big, big way. If you like Halo Lore Discuss to Insane Loves the Detail, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so you're told the second a new video hits the shelves. Be sure to support us on all major social media channels, including Discord, and if you really love the channel, consider heading over to Patreon and supporting the channel over there, or jumping on as a channel member. It would mean the world to me and affords you loads of great perks and bonuses while also helping work towards some awesome stuff in the near and distant future. Take it easy everyone, and find peace in the domain. <laughs>